Good morning, everybody. Um, I got a lot of stuff to go through before anybody walks in. So um, let's see how fast we can go through this. Couple of things. Uh, the April newsletter was sent out yesterday with the classes and I'm going to go over um, a few things pretty quickly. I also have, as many, many of you know, um, I am an embroiderer by trade. So I got some blanks in that I thought you might like. Um, and if you need help figuring out how to embroider them, let me know. I, something that I can help you with probably on a Wednesday. But for Easter, okay, we got these Easter baskets. How cool is this? They are um, kind of a, a, like an outdoor canvas type of basket with um, a satin inside. Now, I personally am going to do a couple of these for my newest, for my grandbaby, but um, with her name on it. Um, okay. Uh, everybody can see me okay? No problem? Seems awfully dark to me. Let me know how it looks to you. Anybody on? Hello? Am I talking to myself? Hey, Kathy, does it look kind of dark to you, the video? Seems kind of dark to me. Hi, Linda. A little dark. Okay, give me a second. All right, let's try that. Let's see how that looks a little bit better. I don't know why it seems kind of dark to me, but it does. Thanks, Linda. Okay, so back to the baskets. If you need help, I'm going to be, because the, the one that my daughter likes is the pastel. The one that I like is the mermaid. So, of course, I'm doing two. But I'm going to be embroidering Aurora's name right here. And I'd be more than happy to show you guys how to do this on a single needle machine. Um, these blanks are $9.99, so you can use them as Easter baskets, gift baskets. A couple of them are definitely Easter, and, and some of them are definitely anytime. But um, I do have a, a case that arrived yesterday in the shop. So, to show you, we've got bunnies with this kind of blue interior and blue um, handle. We've got jelly beans in blue or pink. Aren't they cute? And the two that are kind of up in the air, and they're definitely for girls, unfortunately. They didn't have any anything for boys that I really, really liked, but we have mermaid scales with the blue. And then we have this pastel plaid with the pink. So these are going to be $9.99 if you want to buy them. If you need help with the embroidery, I'd be more than welcome to help you out. Um, uh, it's too close to Easter and I wasn't sure when they were coming in to do a um, class, but I'd be more than welcome to help anybody with these. Um, and I thought these two are not necessarily Easter, but you know, gift baskets for Christmas or birthdays or, you know, how about, they're, and they're good size too. I mean, these are, let's see, these are like 10 inches deep inside. So from here to here is about 10 inches and it's a really good size. So it would work really good for gifts. Okay, one class that I have coming up is embroidered garden flags. Okay, so I have many different colors on these, and the flag comes with the class. And you'll have, oh yeah, Linda, baby showers would be great too. Good idea. Even the bunnies, I think, would be okay for baby shower. Um, 
Uh, the cost of the class, I want to say is, uh, yep, $50. But the $50 class, you get your choice of at least two different designs to embroider and the garden flag. So these are um, burlap. They've got a plastic coating on the back and they have a ruffle. So we have them in this light, well, they call this light blue, but I call it teal. Um, pink, red, yellow, brown, orange, purple, green, and black. Now, if you don't want to take the class, I will be selling these also um, for the blanks. They have a, um, I don't remember how much the cost is yet, though. They have um, a sewed in pocket to put on the little garden flags, and they're approximately 12 by 10, somewhere around there. Um, and I'm like up to here to the, to the line is what I'm measuring. So from this straight area up to where the, the pocket starts. Okay. And I have some really fun designs for these. So we've got the Tame, which one I think is going to, it's going to have a bunch of applique tulips on the bottom. And it's going to say, uh, welcome spring on the top. And then I have some that are not so tame. Um, kind of like, um, oh, what was one of the ones I was looking at? Um, what I was thinking is, um, grandchildren welcome all at all times or always parents by appointment only something like that. But we've got a few designs for you to pick out from, from the tame to the not so tame. Um, I think that's going to be a fun class. Okay. We got two sh other shipments to show you today. Batiks from Anthology. And this is part of their basics line. Um, Quintessentials 3, I believe. And the, the, the one that everybody is waiting for is White Sands. But we're going to start with Batiks first. Okay. So we have this. These Batiks are all 6-yard bolts. Um, reason they're 6 yards is because I wanted the entire... Um, line but I didn't want to go crazy with some of these colors I don't necessarily like so instead of buying 12 yard bolts of everything I only bought six yard bolts so it's enough to do just about anything and it'll give you a lot more color options in the shops for boutiques so here's the first one this is kind of a dark teal background with a lighter teal um, flower Isn't that pretty and I have a feeling, I think I know someone that already is grabbing some of this one. So, I don't know. We'll see. Here is a lime or fluorescent green in a very thin um, floral motif in the background. Can you see that? Or leaves. This is that same one as the, um, as the lime, but it's purple tone on tone. So now you can see a little bit better what the design is. These, you've seen all of these designs before. These are just new colors. The uh, blue and teal um, kind of horseshoe or crescent moon or whatever you want to call it. These are good basics. And that same one in the lime green. Then we've got tulips. This is a light teal green with uh, even lighter teal green tulips. And purple tone on tone of that first flower. I want to say these are, um, I don't know, they remind me of like, uh, f uh, what's the name of that flower? Freesia or something like that. Pretty. Then we've got what they're calling baby's breath in a nice green. Green sometimes is a difficult one to get in boutiques that is a nice green. But this one's a good green on green. 
we've got that same baby's breath in teals. And then we've got blue, blue on blue. So it's a light blue on a dark, on a royal blue. Hi, Gwen. And then we've got more tulips in green and yellow in the background. And the final one in the batiks are roses, pink on pink. All right, now, white sands. Now, I know I keep saying it, but I'm gonna just keep on saying it so nobody can complain when they don't get what they want. These are only eight yard bolts, that's it. I've got two patterns for these. Um, there's one bolt of fabric that did not, thanks Linda, that did not ship with the rest and I can show you which one it is or tell you which one it is, but it shipped yesterday. So it should be here sometime this week. Um, the first pattern I have is kind of like Storm at Sea. I really love this line. It, it reminds me of like a watercolor painting. And the second one I have is, involves the panel. Isn't that pretty? Now, I don't know if you can see in the background, this light brown is the one that I'm missing with the birds. And that's the one that just got shipped yesterday. So now I'm gonna take my mic off so I can show you the panel and I'll be right back. Now that there's only 10 panels, that's it, nothing else. This whole line is in browns and teals and tans. All right, so we're gonna do it up close with this, starting at the top. This is a 24 inch panel. With the sandpipers. And can you see why I say it? It reminds me of watercolors. It really does look like somebody just splashed paint watercolor on here. And you go all the way through to the bottom, which has coral and starfish and different shells. Okay. I like it. And I really don't think it's going to be here very long. Okay. There are 18 bolts in this line. So we're going to go pretty quick. We've got coral in dark teal, coral in brown, coral in a light white and tan, and coral in a light blue. And coral in a green. Okay, then we've got, I forget what these are called. Are these um, urchins? I don't know, or is it just coral? Somebody will know out there. Can you see that? This is in browns and tans. We've got that same one in teals. Now this is the entire line with the exception of that one missing bolt. This is it. There's nothing else in the line that I did not purchase. So we've got everything. Then we've got kelp and coral or coral in green. And tan. And we've got Coral and shells in tans and browns. Mm 
and this kind of reminds me of sea glass so we've got it in a couple different colors so we've got it in the tan and we've got it in this light teal and then we've got some kind of I don't know what you would call these splotchy okay so we'll start with the multicolored see it's just kind of all different like like literally like someone just had water on a paper and just started dropping paint and these are all the colors that are in the panel and in the fabric line then we've got a lighter teal and a darker teal it's got a lot of movement to it i really like it even like i mean it looks like they're bubbles that popped you know water bubbles or bubbles from the paint splatter i don't know i like it it's cool okay now we have teal birds now oops the the bolt that had shipped yesterday is this one with the brown background so that did ship yesterday it should be here sometime this week i'm hoping but don't wait for that bolt to come in in order to get everything because i guarantee you other people aren't going to wait they're going to grab what they can and come back for the final fabric and the final fabric in this line is this kind of teal and green background with the brown shells and coral and starfish all right i think that's it now goodness gracious like i don't have enough stuff okay couple of more shipments coming in this week we've got a um, couple of shipments from um, quilting treasure one is the bohemian wrap more of the bohemian rhapsody ombres um, I get I think seven or seven or 14 I don't remember how many more bolts they've got coming in now the other one that I'm telling you right now is not going to be here long as soon as it comes in is the carnival fabric hold on and of course i forgot something I'll be right back all right this is the candice bag this is the one that we're doing the class in this month we've done this bag before with the side pocket what's important to know is this is the carnival fabric carnival sells out every time it's in here i never thought i would be able to get the old one in before the new one came in and the, the old one is coming in in the black background white background we've got the dots coming in um it shipped i want to say last week or yesterday i don't know there's two shipments from them so i can't remember off the top of my head which one shipped first when this fabric comes in and i tell you that it's here i guarantee you it's going to be bought out it's going to be bought out for the canvas bag and just because everybody loves this fabric no matter how many times i have it in here and this will be the third time i've had or the fourth time i've had this fabric in here um i don't know how many more times i'm going to be able to get it in because I didn't even think I was going to get it this last time. Um, I thought it was completely gone until um, Carnival 2 came out. But Carnival 2 is nothing or not as good as the first Carnival. Trust me when I tell you, it doesn't look as good. This is the best fabric out there. And no matter how many times people see it, they buy it. So that class starts on Tuesday the 16th. It'll be, it's a three-day class. So it's the 16th the 23rd and the 30th at 10 a.m. Um, if I'm only um, space is limited for that class because it usually fills up pretty fast so if you want to register register early um, and then I can give you the paperwork so you know exactly what fabric you need all right um what else do we have 
Uh, Kathy Machura on the 25th at 1 o'clock is going to be teaching. It's a one-day class. It's the only class we're doing for, for this one this month. And it's going to be sewing with sheer fabric. So she's going to teach you all the tips and tricks and what you need to sew with sheer fabric. Um, Willow Bend Creations, the wall hangings, the giraffe, the um, fairy, and the hummingbirds. Uh, we've got that class again this month. I'm going to teach you how to do uh, their no sew border technique, which is really cool. And the cost of the class is $60, but it includes the kit and everything you need to do the class, with the exception of thread. Um, so that's happening a few times this month. Other than that, there's nothing new that I can think of. Um, does anybody have any questions before I get on with the rest of my day? No. All right. Then I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Start of a great week. And you know where I am if you need me. So I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, I can't reach. I'm too short. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs>